Okay, cowboys. Uh, and cowgirl, we needs to ride the most faithful horse your cowboy ever had. Uh, even if he is a dog. <laughs> hey, Spike! Come on, boy! <laughs> oh, Spike must have not heard me. Oh, your doggy really loves you, too. <laughs> Spike was your doggy, Tommy. He is my doggy, Phil. You got to share stuff with your brother, Tommy. It's the law. We're gonna need shares everything, not now. Hey, give me some of that waffle, Philip. Oh, uh, Lillian, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since the last time I eat it. Give me! <laughs> Well, I'm not cheering Spike. But, Toby, don't you remember all the talks your mommy and daddy had with you about sharing stuff with Dill? I shared a lot of stuff, Chucky. I gotta have something to call my own, and Spike's it. <laughs> Spike. Dill's got lots of new toys and stuff to play with. Only big babies needs pets. That's the dumbest thing you ever said, Tommy. Every kid needs a pet. Even stupid, drooling babies. I got Fluffy, and Phil and Lil's got turtles. <gasps> Not anymore. Oh, yeah. But now they got goldfish and... <gasps> Not anymore. Uh, anyways, kids are supposed to have something fuzzy that'll love them, no matter what they do to it. Mm. Fluffy makes me so happy. Oops, I'm supposed to feed her. Oh, well. Anyways, kids need pets. But I don't have a pet, Angelica. That's it's my bug Belleville. My point exactly. You're a mess. <laughs> Gee, maybe Dill does need a pet to love him, too. <laughs> so you gonna share Spike with Dill? I got an even better idea. We got to find Dill his own pet. Something that's as good as Spike. <sighs> Let's think. Spike's always there when I need him and isn't as scared of nothing, and is always ready to have adventures. Well, I think the bestest pet is someone who doesn't mind if you just want to sit and talk. Yep. Phil and Lil, got any ideas? <laughs> we think it should definitely not live in a bowl. What it should like mud. I got it, you guys. But Toby, he's your favoriteest. Well, we sure done a lot together. But I can give him up for deal if I get to keep Spike. Come on. <laughs> Look, Dilly. Oh, oh, oh. Ruff. says that with another baby in the family, your first child often experiences jealousy, possessiveness, and a dramatic unwillingness to share. <laughs> Guess our Tommy's the exception to the rule. Look how he loves to share with his brother. Of course he does, Deed. He's a pickles, isn't he? We come from a long line of generous, giving people. Hey, bro. Mind if I borrow you a weed whacker for a few hours? Are you insane? It's brand new! Get your own, Drew. <laughs> Now, Dilly, it's your new pet. No, Dill. What a way to go. At least he didn't get for lost. Uh, maybe you should just share Spike, Tommy. No, never. Gee, Tommy, I never saw you like this before. I don't think I ever felt like this before, Chucky. If only we could find another Spike. Someone who likes to play and dig and get dirty and eat bugs. And uh, you just be kind of disgusting. Wait a minute. That sounds just like Phil and Lil. <gasps> yeah! You'd be great pets for Dill. How nice that you're all playing with baby Dill. <laughs> we'll be right back. Quick, you guys. You got to watch Spike and copy everything he does.
<sighs> but it was my turn to use the skis. Well, you won't have time. You'll be way too busy weed whacking. <laughs> 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 Here comes Dill, Tommy. You think Phil and Lil are ready? Yep. Come, Phil. Come, Dill. <laughs> I brought applesauce and muffins for everyone. <laughs> Have fun, kids. Okay, guys, it's time for you to be Dill's doggies. Well, I don't gotta do that. It's my turn, Philip. Mine, Lillian. Doesn't got the pet. Hi, uh, Spike. Uh, <gasps> uh, well, Tommy, I guess there's only one pet left for Bill. You're right, Chucky. That's a great idea. Thanks. Um, what idea? You being <gasps> Dill's doggy. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> but what if Dill tries to pull my head off or yank out my? Or guts or whatever else I got in there, huh? Come on, Chucky. You're my lastest chance. Just till I find something else. Oh. Okay, Tommy. What's the matter, Chucky? Your big boy pants creeping up on you again? A black and my tail. Oh, good boy. Okay, now you got to practice riding the baby on your back like Spike does. Let's go. Hey! Ew! Let go of me, a yucky baby! <gasps> hey, Angelica, that's Dills. You leave it alone. Who's gonna make me? Uh, uh, hey, stop it, you stupid flea market! Whee! Look! Spike's trying to save Dill from Angelica. <gasps> we got to help. Hurry, Chucky. Good boy, Spike. <laughs> Angelica, give that muffin back to Dill. Ha ha! I got Dill's muffin, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. <laughs> I still got mine. <gasps> Just like you dumb babies that have your dumb dog around all the time. Hm. Well, I still got mine too, and I'm sharing it with Dill. <sighs> Look how generous Tommy is. There's not a possessive bone in his little body. Who says brothers don't get along? And you can just forget about that condo we booked in the desert. But that was to watch the lunar eclipse. We were going to share expenses. Tell you what, how about we share this? <laughs> hey, Tommy, what pet are we going to get Dill next? Well, seeing as there's no pet better for any baby than Spike, I'm going to share it. <laughs> <laughs> the Rugrats are coming to Paramount Plus. He said it was impossible. And it's beyond words. This is a peasy one. Say what? Sorry, you're actually. Come again. Oh, for face sake. No, seriously, what? You're totally incontinent! I'm not an animal. Incredible. Uh, what they 
set, Rugrats, the new series. Now it's legally blinding. Now streaming on Paramount Plus. Imagine you love frosting and filling. I do love frosting and filling. Well, imagine if there was a way to enjoy that delicious goodness anywhere, anytime, with nothing but a thin layer of foil between you and pasta. Yes, Curtis. This is a commercial about pasta. I like pesto. Why would your kids need a green light debit card? Imagine a debit card and app designed to help them develop healthy financial habits, to teach them how to save and encourage them to set their own goals. Now imagine the difference it could make in their lives, in their futures. Green light. Lose something? Where's your face mask? Probably in my car. Somewhere in my kitchen. He has no idea. When you need your mask, you want it right where you can find it. Introducing Copperfit Never Lost Face Mask. The new ultra lightweight mask designed with a built-in lanyard that lets you lower your mask and is always right there when you need it. Sometimes people just walk on you just really quick. You're like, where's my mask? Yeah. And now it's like, oh, okay, you're coming. I'm ready to go. I'm like Pop in my purse throwing things <laughs> around trying to find it. Like, wait, one second. I like that it just hangs right off and then I don't have to worry about losing it. So it's always with me. Okay, I got my phone. I got my keys. Where's my mask? Oh, it's always with me. <laughs> An easy, adjustable ear loop design for custom fit and maximum comfort. I love the adjustable ear loops. It doesn't fall off. It's very secure. I don't feel the straps behind my ears. I've never seen a mask have that. You're expecting a good mask to be uncomfortable. I constantly, like, put my fingers back here and, like, give my ears some relief. But with this mask, I can breathe in it and probably never going to lose it. It's great. A triple layer fabric with a durable copper infused outer layer and a soft cotton double inner layer. This is brilliant. This is now my go-to mask because you don't need to be thinking about it. You just need to wear it. It's going to blow it out of the water against all other masks. An adjustable nose clip to help reduce fogging. You got to love that. Never Lost Mask is durable, washable, and reusable. Get the mask you will never lose again at buyneverlost.com for only $19.99 or call 1-800-394-1808. Order now for your entire family and we'll include four lanyard masks for only $19.99. Why don't all masks have this? If you want a mask that doesn't give you Mickey Mouse ears and pull your ears right off your face, you want this mask. You want to simplify your life? Get one of these. Ask for the original by name, Copperfit Never Lost Mask. You're watching the Rugrats Takeover. And don't miss the new series, Rugrats, now streaming. Are you talking to us? On Paramount Plus. Every Thursday, you've got a front row seat to the biggest family films on Nick. I am so pumped up! And these movies hit all the right notes. Oh my gosh, I love this song! Everything is awesome. What you want? What you really, really want? Oh, I want. What I really, really want? What are you doing? Come on. Get everyone together for family movie nights every Thursday at 8 on Nick. They're my little people, and this is their house. Ooh, they're so tiny. Hey, where's the potty? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Don't you lick, little Lyle. Sounds like someone's ready for a nap.
making too much noise. Yeah, Chucky. <laughs> Honest, just listen. <sighs> See, I told ya. I didn't hear nothing. Me either. <laughs> you guys got to help me get Dill to take his nap, please. Oh, okay, Chucky, we'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do, Tommy? Well, for Dill's nap, my dad always gives him his binky and his blanky. And he wipes the stuff off of his face. Oh, and he makes funny faces, too. And that's what we're gonna do. I'll get his binky, Phil will know, you make faces, and Chucky, you wipe. <laughs> Why do I always have to do the icky stuff? Here's <laughs> <laughs> your binky, Dill. If I was small like little Louie, I could never make you get to sleep.
I sure hope this gets Bill to take his nap. Better. I wish we were big again. So do I, Chucky. Uh, but at least we're safe in here. <sighs> yeah. Maybe Dill will get tired and take his nap now. <sighs> It always have to be B. Did you have a bad dream, Chucky? It wasn't a dream, Tommy. We were all really, really small, and Dill was really, really big, and he chased us into the little people's house, and he was trying to eat me up. That's silly, Chucky. Yeah, you wouldn't taste good. No, it happened, really. You believe me, don't you, Tommy? <laughs> a dream, or else we'd all remember it, right, Chucky? Uh, <laughs> I guess you're right. Besides, if it really happened, I'd be in Dill's stomach right now. Oh. I'm glad it was just a dream, Chucky. I wouldn't want my bestest brother to eat my bestest friend. Hey, Tommy, want to play trains? I'm driving the train, Philip. No, I am driving you, Lillian. Now, you guys be careful. Little Louie. 